Okay, so today we're going to be doing a very important video. I'm going to be talking to you about one of the toughest trading weeks I've ever had in my career. Stay tuned and you're going to find out exactly how I came out on top and made it the best week I've ever had. Okay, so just to start you off with, for anyone who is brand new to this channel, please make sure to watch a few videos. You're going to realize why the theme of this video is so important. But the video that I did last week got some really good feedback. A lot of people were talking to me about the straightforward approach that I had to the video. Just to remind you, it's that video right over there that I've got highlighted on the YouTube page. Make sure to have a watch if you want very very interesting video about how to stay profitable back to this one basically it was a video where i really showed you the truth of what i do as a trader so for any of you who do not know who i am my name is morgan i'm the founder of ms equities trading i run an investment group that trades and invests in the financial markets on behalf of investors but most importantly i run a training academy that trains students in over 25 countries around the world I've had the opportunity to work with incredible students, work with universities, curriculum advisors, and professional traders and investors in the industry that have given me the information and the feedback that I need when I'm building training programs to help others. And this program, this video, is going to be one of those videos. So to any of you who actually knew what was happening in this week of trading, so in this week, we're sitting in the second week of February, Coming out on Monday, we had an absolute monster crash in the Dow Jones and also right across the global indexes. It was over 1,100 points that fell off on the Dow Jones by the end of the session's close. And the week continued to show incredible volatility. But going into this week, for anyone who might not know, it was a very volatile month for me to start off with. Going into this month, I had positions that I'd taken on multiple ends. All of these positions were made public and live to every single student and follower that I have in my Twitter feed, in my training academy, and everyone else on my social media that follows me. They knew exactly what I was trading. They knew exactly what those trades were looking like. And they weren't looking too good. I took a lot of long-term positions on shorting gold, on shorting crude oil, on shorting the euro against the US dollar, pound against the US dollar, New Zealand dollar against the US dollar, and the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. This was specifically because of a trend I'd spotted in the US dollar, seeing that it was going to strengthen greatly. Now, for anyone who knows what happened in the week where Steve Mnuchin basically said he doesn't care about the US dollar, he wants a weaker US dollar, that caused a massive amount of volatility to my portfolio. And I walked into this week with that volatility on my portfolio. Last week, I was very lucky to be able to unwind a great deal of that portfolio and actually come out in a profitable way. And here's a slide of what my portfolio looks like now. Now, what you're seeing on this page is live results. It's all verified. It's from my own trading accounts. And what you can see is massive spikes going into this week. Most recently, one of the biggest weeks I ever had was this week. Now, more importantly, the main reason why I'm going to show you these results and I'm going to talk you through some of these results is to try and show you exactly why I managed to hold down my cool and how I managed to actually create it into such a profitable week and why so many people out there got caught out. And I'm talking not just home traders, uh, not just novice traders, uh, or even young professional traders, I'm talking entire investment banks and hedge funds getting caught out by this entire market crash and all the volatility that followed. So the reason why I'm doing this in such a casual fashion is mainly because I feel that out there there's very little in the educational community that is actually truly real where people are walking you through exactly how their portfolio is doing and how they're performing and the problems that they're going through. I feel it's so important to be able to become related 
to someone that can show you how they deal with their problems. Not always about how they might be doing so well or making so much money. That has, that has no help or added benefit to you watching this video. So what I've basically done is outlined the four most important things that I found made this week such an incredible week. So point number one is to rise to the opportunity at the right time. Now, these trade opportunities that I'm talking to you about, I've got tons of information that I have put up on my Twitter page. So please make sure to follow me. Slide up right now, showing you exactly where you need to go. I am posting weekly content about every single trade I'm making, every single idea I'm looking at, and all of the data behind it. So you can actually watch me analyze my trades, trade my trades, and then close them out because also I've got a live feed from my FX book posting up every single trade I've executed in the last two years. There's hundreds of trades there and it's all public. It's all public for you to see. And these are from my investment accounts. So, you know, it's not a demo account. It's not a small account. It's lots of money that I'm risking in the financial markets myself and on behalf of my investors. So referring back to the fact that I had posted up a whole lot of trading plans. I'd been talking for weeks about some of these plans and I'd never implemented them because the market just wasn't ready for it. There was just not basically enough justification behind why I should be jumping into those trades. Now, for some of you, you're probably short-term traders. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe if you're jumping in and out of the market throughout the day, there's nothing wrong. But for myself, I tend to do a lot better in the medium to longer term opportunities. I'm able to catch five to 600 pips a position every single time I'm getting in and out of the market. For weekly trades, I'm able to catch 100 to 200 pips a week on every position. And that's why I'm able to go out and get anything between 2,000 to 3,000 pips a month trading. Because I'm taking that longer term approach, I'm able to risk a lot less on my capital and I'm able to find more strategic positions that I can build into and get out of. But most importantly is I have to rise to the occasion when the time is right. It's not about rising to the occasion when you think you want to make money. Someone that I had a meeting with this week talked to me about how he calls them Nintendo traders, almost like they just come home from work and they jump onto the trading platform, almost like it's a Nintendo game, and they just jump into a few trades because they want to either feel included in the market or might be bored or fear of missing out, or even they might have just been away from the market and they feel that having a few positions in the market makes them feel better. And usually these positions don't go very well for them. Now that's the most important aspect that I have to enforce upon you. And this week showed us exactly what timing means. It showed us that timing is most important when you're looking for days and weeks like this where the market has been more volatile this week than in the last 10 years of trading. Now that is something serious to tell you. So in the last 10 years, we have never experienced this since the 2008 financial crisis. Now that is saying a lot. So timing is probably most important. That's what I really prime these opportunities for. And when I watch these opportunities build into the, the previous weeks, getting ready for these opportunities and trading my way into them, I knew that this week, given seeing all of that volatility hit the market, it was my time to get out of the positions I wanted to get out of and hold or add to the positions I knew would benefit from these volatile times during this week. So the biggest one that is point number two, so these are not really in chronological order, but point number two I feel is most important, is trust in your system's success. Now to some of you watching this video, it's going to be difficult because you might not have a system, you might not even know what system you should be using. Either you might have a system, but it's not working. Now, this is a problem because what I'm trying to say to you is don't believe in your system because belief doesn't make you money at all, but trust that it's going to work if you know it does. For the systems that I've built and implemented and also the systems that I teach all of my students, it's the exact same systems, I've been able to take time to backtest these systems over many, many years. And I've been able to build these extensive systems that I'm able to trust and I'm able to understand when the market should move and when it shouldn't move. And more importantly, if something goes against me, I'm able to judge by the movement of the market against the system that I put in place on that trade 
and be able to justify whether the position is basically broken and going to go against me and lose me money, or if the position is just causing a, a, a serious extension against what I thought the trend would be, but is probably going to move back within the possible range or move towards the trend that I expected, I need to be able to trust my system. And for myself, the systems that I implemented in the past couple trades that resulted in the profits for this week were the systems that I've used most. They're the systems I absolutely love using. All of my students know of these systems. And one of the systems that I make use of, which you can also make use of, is in this video right here. I've actually uploaded this video twice. The first video had some uh, sound problems. The music was a bit too loud. So I re-uploaded it. But it's a very, very nice and important video that you need to watch that you can also use to implement in your trading success. But most importantly, trusting in your system is vital. So the next point is about a bit of a analogy that I'm going to relate to trading. And I basically wrote down here saying, see the, see the car glide through the turn before it happens. Now, this is really difficult because as a trader, you're basically trading based on predictions. You're not trading based on history. You're trading not knowing where the price is going to move. Obviously, we are able to come up with a very justified understanding of where we think the market is going to move. And sometimes we like to think we can expect the market to move in certain directions. But for us, we're tra basically trading not knowing what might happen next. But we have to trust and understand that we're going to get through that corner that is most desirable to our success. Now, this comes back to a system of belief. And it's not about believing in your system, in your own trading. It's more about believing in the decisions you're going to make. If you have a very good process for yourself of building into your decisions, making decisions, and you're able to trust that you're going to do the right thing, then you're obviously going to have great mental fortitude behind being able to see the turn occur before you actually get there. Now, if you have a challenge with this, that's the most important thing you need to work on. You perhaps need to work on spending some time to self-evaluate and assess how you believe in yourself, how you believe in your potential and your skills, or you'd be able to take the time to speak to either a performance coach or even take some time to speak to a psychologist and talk to them about how you'd be able to create a better mental fortitude to help with your trading success. Now, being able to visualize things that are going to happen that possibly might not happen is also very important. It's about having a mindset that you're able to create the future that you desire and able to attract the potential of the success that you desire as well. Now, as a trader, it's very important because having this is not just a driving factor for you, but it's also a very healthy factor. So being able to spend your time understanding in the market and believing that you know what you're doing and you have confidence to make decisions also means that you're not going to get scared when you land up in volatile times. You're not going to get angry when you land up doing something wrong or losing money. You're just going to regather your thoughts and get back in the market when you have the time available and when you have the opportunity. Now, the most important one, which I really have to relate back to my trading track record. So, for a lot of you that may have not noticed, I usually carry a very, very low maximal drawdown. And my realized maximal drawdowns, which basically means the positions that I've closed out, have basically never exceeded 0.2% on one of my latest portfolios. So the portfolio that you're looking at right now is one of my latest, more conservative portfolios that I've decided to open up. This portfolio for me is very important because I want to make sure that I'm not going to lose cap my own capital or my investor capital. But most importantly, I also need to make sure that I'm able to maintain those maximal drawdowns to a minimal level. But as you can see, my drawdown rose to 9.63%. And that doesn't mean that I lost 9.63% of the account. That just means I landed up in an extreme level where the market moved far against me. And I basically had an unrealized loss of 9% on my account. Now, that is bad. I never wanted to go through something like that before. I never wanted to go through something like that again. But what I realized was something that was completely unscripted. I couldn't have seen it coming. And I knew if I had the mental fortitude to hold through those positions, 
I would be able to come out profitable. And now the portfolio is sitting up of a 4% profit on the entire portfolio unrealized gain. And this week on top of it has been the biggest week of the past two years of trading. But if I didn't have that mental fortitude, I wouldn't have never been able to make money. I would have actually lost a ton of money. And that's really bad. But the reason why, the reason behind why I was able to do this was point number four. Think, meditate, calm yourself. Think, meditate, calm yourself. Vital. You need to focus on thinking. A thinking man is important. Or a thinking woman, should I say as well, because I also know I've got females that watch these videos. But you need to make sure you get good at thinking. You need to make sure you get good at being able to process your thoughts on a consistent basis and process them well. For myself, I have a trader's journal and I write down every single comment that I make in my head that I think is going to either make me money, lose me money, or anything behind opening or closing trades. I've got every single piece of information right by my side and I walk everywhere with this right with me. No matter where I go, I always make sure I have either this or something else that I can use to take notes whenever I need to. Being able to take my thoughts, take what I think about and put them on paper makes it a lot easier to translate into actual return. That is very important and that's what you need to do. Become that thinking person. Write down all of your thoughts, put them on paper and turn them into a, re a reality. The most important part, step one of turning your thoughts into a, a reality is writing them down. Step two is being able to process them, think over them and find a way to make them better. Step three is to be able to communicate them. Being able to talk to people about your ideas and have the justification that you are going to succeed. Step four is to implement them and to actually make them happen. That's very important. But something that you also need to remember is meditation. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about going and crossing your legs and humming for 30, 40 minutes because believe me, I'd probably die if I had to do that. I'd really struggle to get up after crossing my legs like that. I would just seriously hit problems. But what I'm trying to say is meditation has to do with calming yourself, making yourself quiet and putting yourself in a position where you don't need to worry about what's happening around you. So we have a very, very busy lifestyle as traders. But most importantly, what you need to do is take the time to just calm yourself, sit back, relax, and just give yourself five to 10 minutes of focus, five to 10 minutes of calming everything inside of your head and just focusing on one thing. Now, most importantly, when I talk about focusing on one thing, something that works very well is to focus on your breathing and literally just focusing and thinking to yourself, breathe in, breathe out. And you just focus on doing that. Close your eyes and just do that for five to 10 minutes. Even if you have thoughts running through your head, I mean, I'm ADD. So believe me, meditating is tough. Meditating is it's not easy for me, but I still meditate. Being able to do this at least centers your mind before and after every trading session. So for myself, I get at least 10 minutes every day before the trading session starts and after the trading session ends. And this helps me center myself and be, um, being able to let go of whatever happened during that day, good or bad, and just be able to neutralize myself. Being able to create a neutral standing in the office, in your trading and your portfolios means that you're not going to be driven by any bad things happening. You're not going to be driven by emotion, anger, anything behind it. And you're not also going to be driven by brash thoughts, which men, we like to make very often. This is actually an interesting thing. I've started to find that women tend to take much more calculated thoughts, whereas my male students tend to make more brash uh, actions. And this is something I really need to focus on is we're known as men to try and make the decision and get going with it. Whereas now we need to focus on taking more time to think and digest that information. Calming yourself. Now calming yourself is important. And this is why, because if you're unhappy, if you're angry, if you're driven by emotion, if you're driven by anything toxic or negative or bad, you're not going to do very well in the office. Now people think that when you are driven by rage or energy or this, that, and the next thing, you have the drive to succeed or take over. Yes, well, you know, if you're in a boxing match or you know, someone runs into your house that's not supposed to be there and you need to take them on, then yes, be driven by that energy. But when you're sitting in front of a trading platform and you're sitting in front of a keyboard 
crunching the numbers, risking your own money, you need to stay calm. And that's very important. For being able to stay calm, you would be able to center yourself once again. So after the meditating, being able to stay calm throughout the trading day, whatever happens, happens. You have your process, you have your systems, and you know what you need to do. Even if you don't know what you're doing, get out of the positions and find a way to reassess what you're doing, reevaluate and learn from what you just did, but do it in a calm fashion. Don't do it in an angry way because then you're not going to absorb the knowledge of being able to learn and revise on what you just did. And then the last point inside point number four is don't carry emotion into the capital that you're risking. Don't try and worry about the capital that you might make, might not make, might lose, might throw away, the capital that you forget to allocate, the capital that you allocate too much. It's all about money. And that's a problem behind trading because trading should not be about money because people drive their emotion into parts of things that they are doing. It's difficult. It's part of human nature. If I go and do something, I want to put my energy and my emotion into it. But the problem is people put their energy and emotion into the complete wrong things. Now, as a trader, the most important part of your day is planning. It's not trading. It's planning. And you need to realize that. The most important aspect of what you do is planning your trades, making sure that you've got the right systems in place, that you know what you're doing, you know what the political risks are, you know what the economic risks are, the technical risks, you've had a look at all of the factors, and you know what you need to do next. Now, driven by emotion, these things can become somewhat clouded. Sometimes you can forget to do certain things and you can forget to focus on where you should be allocating your time to. Now, a lot of people try and allocate emotion and focus to money. But there's one major problem about this. Money does not have emotion towards us. Money does not have emotion at all. Imagine trying to dedicate emotion to a rock, something that never gave you a response. Now, money is the same thing. And the problem is we've developed somewhat of a um, drug-like reaction from money. When money is taken from us, it makes us unhappy. When money is given to us, it makes us happy. Now, this is an emotion that you need to get rid of. It's not about how much money you're making. It's about how you're making that money. It's about what you're trading, what assets you're trading, how are you doing it? Are you doing it properly? Are you risking your capital? Are you using the right systems? Do you actually implement your strategies? Are you writing it down? Do you feel good about yourself? Are you meditating? Are you staying calm? Are you being fulfilled? Now, what I can assure you of is money is never going to fulfill you, ever. It's never going to. So find a way to do this, do it properly, and learn to love it. And that is when you will become an incredible trader. And you'll be able to get through weeks like this and you'll be able to come out on top being a successful person. So once again, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. It was just another one of my straightforward videos. I didn't want to script it too much. I wanted to be very, very honest and straightforward with you about this. It was a tough week for me. I've barely gotten any sleep this week. But once again, just wanted to say, if you want to have more of this content every single week, I have got tons of videos on my YouTube channel. So no reason to stay on this video. Jump onto the next one and get watching. Also, if you want to keep updated with our weekly uploads, make sure to subscribe. And that at least keeps you notified when I'm uploading the next important educational video. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.